previously on Riches to Rags. Thinking that a jet-propelled flying car with homing missiles would really help me out with these missions, I soon discovered that this probably won't be true. <laughs> to locate the signal, I had to change my gender on a whim, as you are allowed to do that now, and become a woman so I could access the women's toilets and maybe even get to see some beaver. Art work again. Sneaking around just feels naughty. Must be a little late to the party. But you go ask them nicely where they stash the guns. I collected the first two without any issues, but the third one saw me running around like a human torch. I did what any self-respecting GTA player would do in my position. Rage quit. To help me out with these preps, I called on a good friend who, to my surprise, actually turned out to be a young Tom Jones. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. It'll have the perfect nano I believe I can fly. Let's get it on. Ah, it's not unusual to have fun with anyone. Now with all our house preps done, and me looking absolutely battered, it was time to sneak into the casino. And as always, we arrived in style to drop off our stolen artwork. <laughs> so after banking all of my recent money, I was now at a cool $4.5 million. And we're back. Now after the silent and stinky heist and generosity of Rockstar, As well as a quick bunker sale, I now had a tasty 5.6 mil burning a hole in my pocket, so it was now time to invest that money wisely. One business which is sure to always make money is a nightclub. I mean, it's not like there will ever be a worldwide pandemic where everything shuts down for six months or anything like that. What I originally thought would be a bargain $1.5 million purchase soon spiraled out into a $3.6 million purchase, so I was really hoping I could get a professionally competent team to help me run it. But instead, I was met with this dickhead. Give me a fucking spotlight, Tony! Your friend's here! Alright, thank god! Brilliant! That's a wrap! Piss off, Laszlo! Luckily, I did meet Tony, who seemed like he wasn't gonna take any crap. But Tony! Oh, but Tony, please! Nothing! We have a new landlord! We're going back to what we do best! Playing loud music, encouraging awful behavior, dancing until dawn, and having personal crises like good, god-fearing idiots! After getting to know Tony, it didn't take long before he started telling me about his favourite hobbies. I stare into the mirror and beat off like a real man. I did, however, get worried when he told me about his plans for his human trafficking idea. We need kids, young people, whoever's gonna bring the party, and we need them wasted, and we need them dancing! Tony then went on to tell me what he hates most about Facebook and Instagram. Selfies with some fuckwits! Despite the dickhead's protests, you're a dick. Tony put him straight on who were the best looking, most charismatic, and most importantly, funniest people to ever appear in GTA. Me and him. Now seeing as a dickhead was such a dickhead, I started to wonder why Tony would still keep him around. Tony, can we hug? Yeah, yeah, please. Sure, yeah. You shouted at me a lot. All right, all right. And all right. Tony? Yeah. I don't think you can say gay Tony anymore. It's not PC. The internet will go crazy. Okay, I'll bear that in mind. Gay Tony. I was getting even more suspicious when Tony started telling me about his bumhole. You can do whatever you want down here. Literally, whatever you want. Gorgeous space. Plenty of room. If you thought the dickhead was bad, just wait until you meet the twat. Amigo! <laughs> hey. Que <pesa>. Hello, Dave. <laughs> Hello, Dave. That's my new investor. English day. Ah, uh, safe. Skin. Respect. Despite just meeting, Dave wasted no time trying to put his face into my crotch. One love. Nice bag? Ah, oh, no, thanks. Ah, suit yourself. <sighs> Yet again, I was getting more concerned with Tony's plans for this club. What kind of crowd do you want in this, uh, paradise? Uh, don't be judgmental, Dave. What you need, old son, is a European. <clears throat> Someone with savoir faire. Someone who can bring in the business. The twat then made it quite clear that he didn't want it to appeal to my good friends Gerald and Lamar. Great music, 
great crowd and no cheese. So while the twat sourced us a DJ, I had to source us a big sound system. So I stole one from some college kids and whacked in which is probably the greatest instrumental ever made. After delivering our new sound system, I confided in Tony about a rash that I developed in my ball bag. I do not nor want to know what's going on down there. I will plead absolute stupidity. But if you need my help, anytime, count on me. Hello, Tone! Sniff! Ah, no thanks. Hey, baby, four shots. Good news. Now we just needed a DJ, so me and the twats went off to collect him from the airport. We'll see you shortly. But it turns out that our DJ's grey-haired pilot became very sick and passed out which is totally original and wasn't stolen from the classic film Airplane at all. I'm a DJ, not a fucking pilot. Finally, the poor bastard is reduced to a quivering, wasted piece of jelly. Whoa! Sir, that's not making me very proud! Okay, don't worry, I'm back. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay. Okay, I'm, I, I got it, I got it. Whatever you press before. All right, okay, cool. Don't press it, okay. But somehow, our DJ managed to land the plane safely. Where did you find the pilot? Ah, oh, top of the range he was, son. No expense spared. And I was stunned to find out that our new DJ was none other than former WWF superstar Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Come here. So after realising that all of the nightclub's management were men who like to hug each other and put their faces into crotches, it suddenly dawned on me that this was not your ordinary nightclub, but in fact a massive gay nightclub. It's raining, man. Hallelujah. This was all a bit too much for me, so I hopped out for some fresh air and thought I'd do some flying lessons until I processed what I'd gotten myself into. Got it? Let's go. I had achieved gold in all but one that I was finding particularly tricky. You are go. Get him as quick as you can. I had just 2 minutes and 40 seconds to collect 30 checkpoints from around the map. I had failed here, 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 gave up here, got a silver here, was just 3 seconds out here, died here, as well as here, 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 and finally gave up after dying here. So after all that flying and dying, I decided that if I was going to make a success of my new gay nightclub, I'm going to have to look the part and go all in. So I took myself shopping and got some minor restyling. And after winning a brand new Aston Martin Valkyrie, I mean the Debauchy Wagner, and giving it a lovely new paint job, I was really getting into my new role. And Doc Eclipse died again for no reason. Now with my great new look and my awesome new pink car, I then attempted to promote the club by befriending some of the local LGBTQ and other alphabet people of San Andreas. Hey Carlo, how you doing? There's something deeply noble about growing your own vegetables. But it didn't quite go to plan, as he took offence when I said that men can't have periods. Yeah, stay down, bitch! With that not going so well, I thought I'd try another promotion tactic. which was simply just to put up some posters around the city. And my promotion really paid off, as it was absolutely heaving in there with loads of raging queens. So after an absolutely mental night, <laughs> the next day I woke up in the toilet. 
Now I know you shouldn't drink and drive, but there was $100,000 at stake, so... One minute and 30 seconds later, and $100,000 richer. Now feeling a bit more confident and refocused, this then happened. So join us again when it's proven that I'm a liar after I previously said I'm only robbing a casino one last time. And we meet this bell end again. The next episode of Riches to Rags. <laughs>